Robert Brown had more than 50 convictions for more than 200 offences and had only been out of jail six days when he killed Casper and Corey Platt May. They were crossing the road in Coventry with their mum, their brothers and other relatives when Brown, who had taken cocaine, ploughed into them in his Ford Focus. Several witnesses described how fast the car was going and how Brown had been driving. It was flying along at between 60 and 70 miles an hour, one said. It was like motorway speed, said another. He was driving like a madman. Sean Moran saw the family in the centre of the road as the car approached. He said they were frozen to the spot and the driver didn't appear to make any effort to swerve or brake. The scene was chaos with women and children screaming and crying, he said. Gwendolyn Harrison was a passenger in the car. She and Brown abandoned it, but a member of the public grabbed Brown. Harrison kept hitting the member of the public on the head to let Brown go. The court was told today the pair struggled free and even went back to the scene to look at Corey and Casper. The boy's father, Reese, read a statement from the boy's mother, Louise. She said what Brown and Harrison had done had been monstrous. She said, there are no words that come close to explaining the pain of having your child ripped away from you. I feel like my heart breaks over and over. They will never hold my hand or hug me so tight that I can't breathe. My heart is broken. My heart is broken. The family, through their solicitor, described Brown's nine-year sentence as lenient. And they say they want the government to approve tougher sentences. We hope that the tragic deaths of Corey and Casper highlight the need for judges to be allowed to impose more stringent sentences in such cases if they deem it appropriate. Mr Justice Lockhart said Brown's actions had been reckless and selfless and he'd torn this family apart. He jailed him for nine years and he jailed Harrison for six months. Mark Goff, ITV News.